In this video, we're going to take a look at solving linear systems of equations by substitution. Anytime that we have a system of equations where we have two different variables, we can solve for that system. In other words, find what value of x and y will satisfy both equations. One method that we can do that is to use substitution. In substitution, we solve for one of the variables in one of the equations, and then we take that piece and insert it into the other equation for that variable. So for example, in this first one, we have, this is already solved for x, the first equation. It says x equals 7y minus 4. Well, since x is equal to 7y minus 4, what I can do is in my second equation, I can rewrite it, and anywhere that I see an x, I can replace that with 7y minus 4. Then, just continue rewriting the rest of my equation. So, minus 3y, oops, minus 3y equals 14. Now, I have an equation that contains just one variable, the y. So, in order to solve this, I'm going to go ahead and distribute that 2 through. That's one thing to be to make note of and be very careful about when you're using substitution is if that variable you're substituting in for is being multiplied by something like this is 2 times x we need to time take 2 and multiply it by the entire thing that makes up the x in this case x is made up of 7y minus 4 so 2 needs to be multiplied by the entire thing so we use parentheses there and then we're going to distribute that 2 through. So 2 times 7y gives us 14y. And then 2 times minus 4 is going to give us minus 8. Then we've got that minus 3 sitting out there equals 14. Then combine like terms. So I do that. 14y minus 3y is 11y. Then we have minus 8 equals 14. Then I'm going to go ahead and add add 8 to get rid of that minus 8. Remember just doing the opposite. So we have 11y equals 14 plus 8 is 22. Then divide by 11 on both sides and we are left with y equals 2. Okay, now we have our y. So we got to take that back and we're going to insert it into one of our two equations that we started with. Now typically it's easier if we put it into the one that was solved for that other variable. So I'm going to take that 2 and put it into that first equation for y. So we have x equals 7 times 2 minus 4. 7 times 2 is 14 minus 4. So x is going to be equal to 10. Now, finally, we need to write our solution as an ordered pair because that's uh, how we write xy things so the ordered pair would be remember ordered pairs are xy so the x is 10 and our y is 2 so 10 2 is our solution for this first system let's take a look at this next system over here in this one we don't have a variable that's already solved or an equation that's already solved for a variable the second one looks like it wouldn't be too bad to get it solved for a variable, however. This one, if we add 2x here, add 2x, then this equation becomes y equals 2x. Okay, perfect. Now I've got it solved for y, so I can take this and put it into my other equation anywhere I see a y. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that first equation. So I have 3x minus 4 times y, well, y is 2x, so I'm going to put a 2x in there instead. So 4 times 2x equals 20. Then, com combine like terms and simplify what we can there. So 3x minus 4 times 2x is 8x equals 20. Then, 3x minus 8x gives us minus 5x equals 20. Then finally divide by negative 5 here. Divide by negative 5 and we're left with just x equals negative 4. Now we have our x. Okay, 
let's take that back and put it back into one of our equations up here again this is probably the easiest one to work with because we've got it already solved for y so we just need to put the negative 4 in so we have y equals 2 and x we found is negative 4 so put in negative 4 there negative 4 so we have 2 times negative 4 so y is equal to negative 8 okay and then finally write our ordered pair so xy so x is negative 4 y is negative 8 now one thing before we go any further this ordered pair then should work in both of our equations because that's what we figured out this is the solution that works in both in this entire system of equations so if we would insert each of those in there if we do it in this first one 3 times negative 4 would be negative 12 and then minus 4 times negative 8 would be positive 32 negative 12 plus 32 gives us 20 so it works in the first one the second one y is negative 8 so negative 8 minus 2 times negative 4 well, minus 2 times negative 4 will be positive 8. Negative 8 plus 8 is indeed 0. So it works. We can always check our answers. Make sure you take advantage of that and do so. Okay, this last one, again, we don't have a variable that's solved for already, but we could solve for this y without too much trouble. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to subtract 3x. I want to get that y by itself there. So minus 3x, both sides then I have minus y equals minus 3x minus 10 okay then I have to divide by negative 1 here to get that y by itself so divide by negative 1 each piece then I have y is equal to negative 3x divided by negative 1 which is going to give me positive 3x and then minus 10 min divided by negative 1 is plus 10 okay then I have my y so I'm gonna insert that into the other equation when I see a y so I have 9x plus 2 times y well I found out that y is equal to this so I'm gonna put that in in its place remembering to use parentheses because we're multiplying that whole thing by 2 so that equals 5 then go ahead and distribute that 2 through so 2 times 3x is 6x 2 times 10 is plus 20 equals 5 then we're gonna next subtract 20 to get that or we can subtract 20 and we'll also combine like terms in this step because kinda running out of space here it looks like and my twos aren't turning out either oh okay here we go minus 20 minus 20 so 9x plus 6x is 15x equals 5 minus 20 is negative 15 then divide by 15 divide by 15 and I'm left with x equals negative 1 okay now I go back up here and I'm gonna solve put it in and solve so I'm gonna put it in the first one just to prove that I can so put in negative 1 right here so that would make that negative 9 plus 2y I am struggling with these 2's holy cow 2y equals 5 then add 9 add 9 to both sides we get 2y equals 14 and finally divide by 2 divide by 2 and we're left with y equals 7 so our solution to this equation is negative 1, 7. Okay, solving systems of linear equations by substitution, we solve one of the two equations for one of the variables. Sometimes it's, it's pretty easy to see, or it might already be solved for you. Then we take whatever that variable is equal to, and we insert it into the other equation for that variable so in this first one we had we solve for x we replace the x in the second one by what x was equal to in this one we had solve for y so we went to the first one put in for y 
and then in that last one we also solve for y and insert it in there. Also remember to put parentheses around that piece because you're multiplying the whole thing so be really careful about that. And finally remember that our answers are in the form xy which is an ordered pair so make sure you write your answers as ordered pairs. I hope this was helpful. Keep working hard on all your math.